everyone. Tonight we will be discussing factoring for polynomials using the greatest common factor or GCF. There are only three steps that we need to follow in order to do it. Step one is we have to know, or we have to get uh, the GCF for all of the terms in our polynomial. So for this one, for 2x, let me adjust my camera. 2x cubed, the factor is 2 times 2, I mean times x, times x, and times x. And then for 6x squared, it is 3 times 2 times x times x. So the greatest common factor for this polynomial is the common to them is this one. Therefore, our GCF is 2x squared. Now, what's the second step? The second step is we have to express each term as a product of the GCF in another factor. So, how are we going to do this? We'll use the GCF and we'll use the remaining factor. This one, this, 2x squared times the remaining factor of x. And then for 6x cubed, I mean for 6, this is 2x cubed. For 6x squared, our remaining factor is 3. So, that would be 2x cubed, 2x squared, times 3. So again, our first step is we have to identify the GCF. Second step would be using the GCF and the other factor, expressing it, expressing it as a product of the GCF and the remaining factor. And then our third step is we will be our third step will be using the distributive property to factor out our uh, polynomial. So let me just write down the factors again. That's 2x squared. Let me see that. 2x squared times x and So we'll, we are basically just replacing it. We're still going to use the same operation that's, that was used in the original, uh, original equation, original polynomial. So there we have it. Now, what is the distributive property? That would mean that if we distribute... this to this and this to this we will still get the same number or we will still get the same answer so now let's write the final factor so that is 2x squared times x our remaining factor and also this one minus 3 and there that's our factor final answer. That is our final answer. How do we solve? How do we know that we've got the correct one? We verify by checking using the distributive property 2x, 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. Times 3 is negative 3 is 6x squared. There you go. Now, there is a faster method 
uh, when you're already used to getting the greatest common factor just by looking at it, you can directly do it by dividing, dividing the equation and then multiplying it to the GCF. How do we do that? Example. Get another black paper. Example is 5x squared minus 10x. So just by looking at it, we can see that our common factor is, our greatest common factor is 5x. There. So how do we do that? We just multiply the GCF. We write down the original fraction, I mean the original equation, and we divide it to the we divide it to the common factor. And then this will give us this will give us x and this will give us so I just have to write it down. There you go. And by checking the distributive property, uh, using the distributive property to verify, we would know that this is 5x squared. And then this one is 10x. Yep. Now let's try. Let's try doing some exercises. Let us check your, our, your understanding. I'm going to give you an example and you can comment down the answer to this equation. Factor out using GCF. Twelve X squared twelve X squared plus eighteen X letter B 10x squared is 25x plus 15. Letter C, x to the 4 minus 8x cubed plus x squared. So, you can factor this out using the three-step rule that I provided earlier. You have to first find the GCF for all the terms in the polynomial. Step 2 is express each term as a product of the GCF and another factor. And step 3, use the distributive property to factor out the GCF. Comment down your answer. Thank you for watching!